Yo, what is going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, I will be giving you guys the best settings for Call of Duty Warzone for your NVIDIA RTX graphics card. Now this applies to RTX 20 series and RTX 30 series. Now, most of these settings will probably work for uh, GTX cards as well, but this is specifically for RTX cards. Now, there's a lot of settings videos out there. There's just one video for AMD, NVIDIA, and everything, and laptops and everything. No. Different settings are better for different cards. Now, as you can see, I'm running about 170 FPS. Not great. But keep in mind, I am recording at 60 FPS, 9,000 bitrate right now using um, Streamlabs. So that is the reason why my FPS is kind of jagged. Usually, I'm running above 200 FPS, but right now I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, and the FPS is definitely having some issues. But I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to start from the bottom up. Usually people show you the window settings. Let's go ahead and start with these graphic settings. I'm going to quickly go over why I have this setting the way it is, but I'll make another video where I go really in depth. So, display mode, full screen borderless, not full screen. Why? Number 1, you you, you don't want a janky game. You want to be able to open windows, right? Just better user experience. Number 2, this game is running at DX12. As I mentioned in my DX12 versus DX11 video, DX12 does not have such a thing as full screen exclusive. Meaning, if you put your game in full screen, we weirdness happens. Now, even though everybody and everyone tells you don't do full screen borderless, I will link you an article in the description from Microsoft saying that you should actually put your game in full screen borderless. I'm not going to go into depth exactly why, but this is the right setting, all right? Second, screen refresh rate, I'm at 240. Number three, render resolution, 90. Why 90, not 100? Because at 90, you're getting a little bit extra push without really sacrificing image quality too much, all right? Moving on, VSync obviously off, NVIDIA highlights off, reflex low latency, disabled. Why? Because DX12 does not have such a thing as NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. This is meant for DX11. Again, big misconception, disable it. You don't need it. Display gamma, leave it normal. Now, texture resolution, high. We are trying to run the higher, highest resolution textures we can. You can go normal or high, but we are running high res textures. So... For RTX cards, they have absolutely no problem rendering these textures. So you want to have the highest quality textures, meaning the texture goes from where it's saved to rendering with the least amount of optimizations, uh, you know, buffering, all this nonsense. Just let it, it's, think of it as a freeway. You want it to be wide open for these high speed textures to just like straight, straight go, straight render. All right. These... High resolution textures are like big trucks and they start going fast. You want to make sure there's nothing in the way stopping buffering or, or any sort of thing. So that's my philosophy when it comes to maximizing FPS and it's been working for me. Texture filter and isotropic, low. All right, this is some filter, any sort of filtering, optimizations, buffering, we want to minimize it. We put it at low. I know I died. <laughs> I'm sure that guy's happy. Particle quality, low. Disable, disabled, on-demand texture streaming. Enable this. However, you can also disable it. For me, enabling it for some reason gave slightly higher FPS. Might be placebo, but at the end of the day, this is not a big deal. Streaming quality, low. Shadow map. Shadows are your biggest enemy. Shadows is literally your biggest enemy because that is going to cause the most uh, lag. So, low. Cache spot shadows disable disable. Why are we not caching it? Because we want these shadows to load. First of all, disabled, right? And our shadows are low. So these shadows, they're not going to be a lot of shadows going on. So we want them to load as fast as possible. So we don't want to cache them. Because guess what? Loading them from the CPU is faster than putting it in your hard drive, loading it from the hard drive through the RAM. Nonsense. Disable it. Particle lighting low. DirectX ray tracing 
This is the biggest scam in all of history. Disable that. Ambient occlusion disabled. Disabled. Anti-aliasing off. Depth of field disabled. Otherwise, uh, just definitely disabled. Filming strength one. Motion blur disabled. Weapon blur disabled. Film grain zero. Boom. Those are your settings. That's what you gotta. Those are the best settings. I've tried many different ones. This is this is the best. Now. Let me go ahead and quickly switch to display capture so I can show you guys some of the other settings. I'll show you what to do and what definitely not to do. Next thing, NVIDIA control panel. Now I know I sound pretty excited about this because I, I'm pretty passionate about people giving others wrong information. So there's an article in, in, uh, from NVIDIA saying, hey, turn on image sharpening. Really sad stuff. Let me go ahead and pull up this NVIDIA article. Warzone optimization. The more, you know, I, I like NVIDIA, but I, I'm starting to lose respect for them, all right? Anyway, they have this great article. It, it looks great on paper, but you really read into it, there's absolutely no good information here. And what they tell you to do is, hey, do you want 240 FPS on your 2070 Super? Supposedly, you're supposed to get 190 FPS. Absolutely no benchmark got this much, but... Anyway, they tell you, go ahead and drop down your resolution to 90, right here, which is right. That's what I did. But they also tell you to enable image sharpening. Now, if these guys actually tried the settings they're recommending, they would know that when you turn on image sharpening, it completely destroys the game. It starts flickering, all sorts of nonsense. So that's what I mean. There's so much misinformation. So today is December 28th. I just tested this, and it works Perfectly fine, high FPS, all right? Image sharpening, off. Again, the idea here is we don't want to do anything to the texture, to the image. We want to just let those high-res textures render without any anything, you know, in the clogging it up, all right? Ambient occlusion, off. Those are, again, some sort of uh, effects. Anisotropic filtering, extremely important. Application control, do not turn it off. If you turn it off, you will have worse performance than if you put application controlled and set it to low. Why? We'll talk about it in the next video. Anyway, anti-aliasing off, gamma correction on. That might, you could probably leave it off or on. It really, this isn't going to be a very small difference. It's not going to make a, too much of a difference, right? The biggest thing is anti-aliasing mode application controlled. The rule here is if you can let the application control these settings, you ha let, let it control these settings. Don't try to override a setting that the application can control because now you have the application setting, you know, um, set it to a certain setting. And then you have NVIDIA over here trying to override it, which it just causes stutters and it's part of uh, a lot of you guys' problems. Transparency off. Qdo GPUs all DSR factors also extremely important. Turn that shit off. Now, also extremely important. Low latency mode ultra. You can do on or ultra. I think on will put less stress on your CPU, but definitely want to turn that on. But when you turn on low latency mode, turn off reflex low latency in Warzone, which is what I just showed you. Max frame rate off. This is just basic stuff. Uh, maximum performance again refresh rate we could override it highest available but it's better to set it to application control shader cache again this is going to be depending on your CPU but overall the difference is not going to be very big for me I turn on shader cache because I, I'm in my opinion I'm CPU bound so the next thing I'm going to overclock my CPU but um, I'm slightly CPU bound, so that's why I turned the shader cache on to relieve a little bit of the stress of the CPU. Now, this is also extremely important. Texture filtering, negative bias, you're allowing this negative LOD bias because if you start, if you clamp it, again, you're literally clamping something. You're introducing a filter. Bad news. Texture filtering quality, high quality, extremely important. You, um, not quality, high quality. All right. Again, you can you can test with quality, but the idea here is we want the best quality textures with absolutely no other effects. We have a really uh, RTX cars are very strong. 
They're very powerful. They don't have a problem rendering textures. 90% of the time, it's your CPU or your RAM that's bottlenecking you. Threaded optimization, auto. Triple buffering, off, vsync. Use application setting. Again, we could turn it off, but it's better to let the application decide. All right, this is when it comes to any optimization. So that is really the end of it. Now, don't do any registry edits, please, for the love of God. Don't. I'm not going to name any names, but some people tell you to download some sketchy programs, do weird registry edits. Please don't. Just don't. The only thing that you should do that honestly doesn't make a difference at all, but might as well do it. Go to graphics setting, turn on hardware accelerator, ah, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, browse, add modern warfare right here. And again, important, very important thing. Please, for, love, for the love of all that is holy. Do not disable full screen optimizations. Don't do this. Even though everybody tells you to, ask them why. They're gonna, not going to know the answer because guess what? Modern Warfare is a direct X12 application. You only disable full screen optimizations for DX11. Okay? So in our case, if you're running an RTX card and you have a decent CPU, please don't. Don't do this. Because you start disabling full screen optimizations and then you're wondering why do you have stutters and you're running at 50 FPS. Well, that's why. Because cause you, you, you're doing nonsense, all right? So don't do this. Work with Windows. Stop trying to, um, you know, everybody who's doing these um, settings videos, they're trying to, oh, let's trick Windows. We disable this. Windows is bad. Game mode should be off. No. Game mode should be on, all right? So that's it, guys. All you got to do, set your NVIDIA settings and set your Warzone settings. Any other settings you do is not going to magically give you FPS. You might get a small amount here and there, but at what cost? At the cost of completely fucking up your computer. All right, guys? So I hope you enjoyed this video. 12 minutes. I don't want to waste your time. Let me know in the comment section below. What kind of FPS are you getting and what's your setup? I'm actually, I'm very curious because so far I've been checking out um, benchmarks on 20, the 2070 Super and I definitely have the highest benchmark. And even though NVIDIA says it's supposed to get 190 FPS, that is just bull, all right? So please only like the video if this helped you with your FPS. If it did help you, please don't like it because this is how I know whether my videos are helpful or not. So once again, Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helped you guys. And if you have any comments or questions or need any help, please throw down a comment. I'll uh, definitely try to respond to you. Need for Beans, out. Peace!